hello friends welcome back to online mass up we're gonna be solving this question here without the use of calculator so how are you gonna be solving that i'm just gonna be showing you two methods you can actually use to solve this without the use of calculator and then i will also show you how you can also solve other similar problems like this and then of course once you follow the trick we're gonna be exploring this video you can be able to solve problems like this even without the use of calculator so let's just look at the first method okay so what we have is 400 power 2 minus 399 power 2 okay so the first method it just to use the idea of uh, difference of two squares and of course if you know you can remember that if you have a squared minus b squared you can actually expand this to be a plus b and of course a minus b okay so in this case our a is 400 and then our b is 399 so if i simplify this i'm going to be having 400 plus 399 okay and then multiply by 400 minus 399 okay so 400 plus 399 is actually going to be giving us 799 okay so we're going to be using that to multiply this stuff over here so 400 minus 399 will be equal to 1 so obviously you can see that using this method that 400 power 2 minus 399 power 2 will be equal to of course when you multiply this is just 799 okay so this is just 799 okay so this is uh, the solution and then of course if you are not comfortable with this you can also use so this is method one okay so this is the first method okay so solving using the second method what we have is 400 squared minus 399 squared okay so what you're just going to do is to rewrite this 400 right here i know that you can actually write this 400 as 399 okay plus one and all raised to power two so of course this is same as this because 399 plus one is equal to 400 and then of course minus 399 squared okay so we can go ahead to simplify this and of course you know that if we have let's say a plus b and all raised to power you can actually expand this as a uh, multiplied by e so that is a squared and then plus two times a b that is two a b okay and then of course plus b squared okay so applying that here and of course in this case our a is equal to 399 and then b is equal to one okay so if i apply this stuff right what i'm going to be having is uh, 399 squared plus okay so a times that is 399 times one then i'm going to multiply that by two and that is two times 399 okay and then plus one squared and then minus this 399 squared this can actually cancel this one right here okay so that what i now have from here is 2 times 300 399 and that is actually going to be giving you 798 okay plus one squared is equal to one so when you sum this you're going to be having 799 which of course is the value of this uh, uh, problem we are solving okay and you can see it is still the same with what we have with the first method okay so whichever method that is more convenient for you you can actually use it to solve but then there is also another similar problem which you may also want to check out how you can also go ahead to solve that okay so supposing you be required to solve this without the calculator how would you go about it okay so moving on i am just going to write this so i can write this stuff here as 2 power 98 plus 1 okay and then minus 2 power uh, 98 okay 
and then of course if you can remember the rule of indices i said if you have e power m plus n you can actually expand this as e power m and then multiply by e power n okay so i'm going to use that idea to expand this so i'm going to be having 2 power 98 and then multiply by 2 power 1 okay and then of course minus 2 power 98 okay so the next thing i want to do is actually to factorize a common term right here and of course you can see that 2 power 98 is common here and then of course if i factorize it here 2 power 1 will be left minus if i factorize 2 power 98 here 1 will be left so moving on 2 power 98 if i evaluate this stuff inside the bracket 2 power 1 is equal to 2 okay so I'm going to be having 2 minus 1. Okay, and of course, uh, what I'm going to be having is 2 power 98 uh, multiplied by 2 minus 1 is actually equal to 1. So obviously, this is equal to 2 power 98. So you can see that 2 power 99 uh, minus 2 power 98 will simply give you equal to 2 power 98 so this is cool and that is how you solve problems like this if you've got some value in the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then turn on the notification icon and i'll see you guys in my next video bye